How's it going, everybody? My name is the upcoming guitarist, and today I will be teaching y'all some basic chords to know and how to put that into an easy little riff that I have made up to make it sound like you know what you're doing when you're playing the guitar. First chord I will be teaching you, it's very simple, is the E chord. E minor chord. Simple chord. Alright. What you do, take your first finger, lay it lay it on the second the second fret of the A string, which is your second string from the top. You lay it there, and then you take your middle finger and then you put it on the second fret of the D string. And then every other note, every other string is just open and you strum it. That's an E minor. Now, the next chord I will be teaching you is a C chord. Which sounds like this. Alright, so you take your first finger, put it on the B string, which is the second from the bottom. You put it on the B string, on the first fret. Take your middle finger, second fret of the D string, which is the third string from the top. And then you take your ring finger and put it on the third fret of the A string, of the second string from the top. And then what you want to do is you take your thumb, lay it, lay it gently on top of the E string, the high, the low E string, my bad, and to mute it so that it doesn't make a sound. All right, and then you just play it, play, it. and that's a C chord. Now another good way to make the C chord sound full is you take your pinky finger, put it on the third, the third fret of the, e, uh, the low E string, so it does make a sound, and that'll make the C chord sound more full. Yeah. Right, let me grab a pick right quick. So it sounds... Well, alright, I told you a uh, ring finger here on the 3rd fret of the A string. Now when I added the pinky, you're going to go ahead and move the ring finger up one string and put the pinky finger on the 3rd fret of the A string. That'll, that's more comfortable. So it sounds like that. So we got E and C. Or the other way of playing it. But the full way. Alright, next chord I'll be teaching you is the G chord. Now, this one has a funny fingering for it, uh, but the way that I do it, there are maybe some other people that tell you different, is you put your middle finger on the third fret of the E string, put your, put your uh, pointer finger on the second fret of the A string, second fret, my bad, second fret of the A string, and then you put your ring finger right here on the third fret of the B string, and then your pinky on the third fret of the high E string. So it sounds like that. Alright? So we got E. C, or the full way, and then we got G, now the next chord will be D7, pretty
pretty sure. I don't know. But I'm not too familiar with the name of this chord. I'm pretty sure it's called D7. But you put your middle finger on the high E string on the second fret. Put your pointer finger on the second fret of the G string. And then you put your third finger right here on the third fret of the B string. Now only the bottom four are only the bottom four strings are gonna be played, so So you gotta mute with your thumb. You gotta kinda stretch your thumb to mute these top two strings and strum. Now a fun little way you can uh, mix this up is by lifting off your middle finger. You could just do that. Alright? Now I taught you those four chords. E, e, ma e minor, my bad. And then C. G. And then D. Alright. Now I'm going to teach you a fun little uh, picking pattern. Uh, to make it sound like you actually know what you're doing. So if you ever go to like a party or a gathering or something and you see a guitar there uh, You can pick it up and just start jamming out All right, so what you do is you start with E E minor and the little picking pattern that I have is All right, so it's down 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 up up, down, up. Alright, so let's go over it again. It's down, down, down. Wait. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You can mix it up. Now it may take you a little while to be able to get used to transitioning through the chords. So uh, one easy way to help you is transitioning between this E minor chord to the C chord is that don't move this middle finger. That middle finger will stay right where it is. And I will be playing this using the modified version of the C chord. So make it sound more full. So all you do is you move your ring, your pointer finger to the first fret of the B string, and then just slap those down on the top two strings at the third fret. Slap your uh, ring finger and pinky finger down there, and then. I go to the D chord, D7, whatever it's called. And what you do is you just move these two fingers down to these bottom three. And I'll put in this one on uh, the first string and this one on the third string. Your middle finger on the, on the first string and your index finger on the third string. And then your ring finger right here on the second string of the third fret. And then you go to G. And what you don't do, don't move your 
don't move your ring finger. And then put your pinky finger down uh, right below it on the string below it on the first string. Reach your middle finger up there to the third fret of the D string. And then, and then your pointer finger right here on the second fret of the A string. And then go right back to E. And all you have to do is lift up these three fingers. These three fingers right here. This finger doesn't move. Your pointer finger does not move. And then place your middle finger right there on the string below your pointer finger. And then, and you can mix up all these chords however you want. This is the way that I find it best to sound. So I'll go ahead and play it for you. for today i will see y'all in the next video don't forget to like comment subscribe and post uh turn on post phone notifications comment down below to win a post notification shout out and in the next video and share this with anybody that you want anybody who is interested in learning guitar share this with them share them with your family friends pets whoever whoever may concern and I will see y'all in the next video